Curatorial Voices, African Landscape Past and Present is the second edition of Strauss and Company's annual sale that takes place during the Cape Town Art Fair week on 19 February 2024. From Thomas Baines to Jake Ekman, the sale features work by pioneering modernist painters as well as trailblazing contemporary artists, spanning over 175 years of depicting the African landscape. A highlight of the sale certainly is this wonderful painting of Church Street in Tilbach by J. H. Pirnev. Pirnev painted the work in 1929. It was exhibited in Pretoria at the Glens Music Room in 1930, and the work has been in the same uh, family collection ever since. Walk with me along historic Church Street in Tilbach. Be walking in a northerly direction with the Groot Winterhoek mountain range in the distance. The Tilbach Valley is surrounded by three mountain ranges, Winterhoek in the north, Witzenberg in the east, and Obitkwa Mountains in the west, with a Breda Rafi catchment area or basin in the valley. The valley was populated by the Khoisan until 1658, and again in 1699, when two expeditions from the Cape stumbled upon the valley and called it Ruedezant. Land grants by the Dutch colonial government to Huguenot settlers soon followed, the soil ideal for viticulture. Famous vineyards today include Saronsberg, Twee Jonge Gesellen, Montpellier, Skalkenbosch and Tienes Kral. The town got its present name after Rijk Tilbach, the governor of the time. A church was the first building to be commissioned. Behind us, on the southern end of Church Street, is the famous cruciform or Greek cross church, commenced in 1743 and five years under construction the oldest church still standing in the Cape. A remarkably fine Baroque gable was added in 1769. The Malay influence in ornaments shown in the subhuman mosque near the apex. The church, nowadays the local museum, is surrounded by a low whitewashed wall and gate, the parapets of which is molded to harmonize with the gable. Ahead of us, in the distance, the focal point of the painting, the old parsonage, dated the same time as the church. Built from materials important from Holland, the parsonage was soon in a tumble-down state and had to be rebuilt in 1769. And this is said to be the building which restored in 1952 is standing today. To the one side of the parsonage is a building called the chapel with an early florid gable dated 1785. This was once a wine cellar and later served as a school. To the right, we see the Debet House, ascribed to the Cape Palladian architect Louis-Michel Thibault, and is considered to be an imitation of French architect Ange-Jacques Gabriel's Petit Trianon at Versailles. It is a two-story rectangular house with classical facade divided by pilasters, which was built in 1812. Today, it is known as Mont Bijot my jewel. Tybalt certainly designed the Droste, the official residence of the Landrost or Magistrate, to the northwest of Church Street and built in 1804. It has a striking portico. To the left we see part of a structure which is today an art gallery and the low white wall of Balotina, a house named after the Reverend H.W. Ballet, a German from Iserlon who was minister at Tilbach from 1803 until his death in 1814. He purportedly forbade any traffic along Church Street on a Saturday because he was preparing his sermon for the Sunday service. Sir Alfred Bate, son of, uh, son of mining entrepreneur Otto Bate, acquired the house on the advice of architectural historian Dr. Mary Cook. Cook famously owned Palotina supposedly also designed by Thibault. The whitewashed wall at left indicate, uh, indicate its storied house boundary. After the disastrous earthquake in 1969 that destroyed much of Church Street, Cook was one of the architects advising on the restoration of many of the historical houses on the street. 
Bernier framed this quaint scene with trees in a variety of green tones, forming a veritable umbrella over the street. The umbrella effect is echoed in the attenuated blue gum tree on the right. Visiting his good friend and biographer, J.F.W. Grosskopf in Stellenbosch in 1921, and again in 1925, Biniev made a point of travelling out to Tolbach as well. The region certainly captivated the painter's imagination, and he pulled no fewer than seven liner cut prints and two etchings of Tolbach street scenes and farms, all listed in Gerard de Kamper and Christa Clark's Pirniev imprint, published in 2015. Two of the cruciform church, one seen from an elevated position across the small river running behind the church, and the other, the imposing facade with the 1796 gable and low whitewashed walls and sculpted parapets echoing the convex ornament of the gable. Then also two delightful street scenes leading onto Church Street, workers' cottages, farmhouses, including the Twee Jungen Gesellen Wine Estate and the landscape around Tilbach. When Pirniev painted this scene in 1929, he had just received the Johannesburg Station Panel Commission and he was crisscrossing the country in search of suitable scenes to depict. This scene could well have been one of the 28 panels he finally submitted. The colour palette and the flattened forms in this work are reminiscent of the station panel images. But what is commendable in the work is the level of foreshortening that Pirniev employed compared to a recent photograph of the position he would likely have taken up when capturing the scene. Wanting to include the debate house on the right, Pirniev had to move quite far back away from the parsonage. This suggests that he was probably composing the scene in his studio rather than in plein air. Another noticeable feature is the extraordinary elongation of the blue gum tree on the right, likely to balance the full foliage of the tree on the left. Certainly, for me, the most interesting aspect of the whole composition is the phenomenal small patch of blue reflected in the layfuhr, the irrigation ditch, on the right running underneath the entrance steps to each of the houses along Sturt Street. As the title of the sale suggests, Curatorial Voices, Strauss and Company invited five independent curators to put the sale together. These curators include Camilla van Hoogstraten, Omoga Ibila, Hopoleng Moloi, Aza Sati, Azu Wagubu. And they put together a sale which includes such artists as Singa Samson, Thomas Bowler, Claude Boscherain, Jessica Webster, Peter Clark, Guy Tillum, David Goldblatt, Stanley Pinker, Atta Pataruga, Moses Clardy, Alfred Torba, and Jack Aikman.